we have a question here. If sine theta equal to 8 over 17, find cos theta minus sine theta all over sine theta plus 1. And here is the solution. Now, we are going to represent this information in a right angle triangle. In trigonometry, in Pythagoras theorem, we have an acronym called SOCATOA, where X stands for sine, C for cosine, and T for tangent. SOCATOA is applicable to right angle triangle, and so we are going to represent this in a right angle triangle. Now, here is our right angle triangle. Here is the included angle theta, and here is 90 degrees. From Sokatoa, we have the sine equals to opposite over hypotenuse. And here we have sine theta equals to 8 over 17, which means opposite is 8 and hypotenuse is 17. Here is the opposite, and we have it as 8, and here is the hypotenuse, we have 17. Now we have represented sine theta 8 over 17 on this right angle triangle. Next, we are going to determine the length of the adjacent side. Let's call this side A and apply Pythagoras theorem, we have that the square of the longest side, which is 17 square, is equal to 8 square plus A square. And 17 square is equal to 289. Here is 64 plus A square. If we make A square subject of the formula, we have that A square equal to 289 minus 64 and when we remove the exponent from a we have that a equals to square root of 289 minus 64 is 225 for the sake of those that may not understand we have two as exponent when exponent crosses the sign of equal to it forms root so the two here having crossed have to form square root over 225 that is plus or minus but here we don't need the minus so we have 225 which is equal to 15. The square root of 225 is 15. So now we got A to be 15. Now we have known all the sides of the right angle triangle. We can now determine cosine theta. Now from Sokatoa, cosine equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. So we come here, we said cosine theta equals to the adjacent is A, which is 15, all over hypotenuse, which is 17. So now we have known cosine theta. We have also been given sine theta. We can now simplify this expression. So let us write down the expression. Here we have the expression. In place of cosine theta, we put 15 over 17. So we have 15 over 17 minus the place of sine theta, we put 8 over 17. So here we have 8 over 17. All over sine theta once again is 8 over 17 plus this one can be written as 1 over 1. So looking at the numerator, we take the LCM, which is 17, all over the numerator, we have 15 minus 8, divide by, now for the sake of space, this division and this are the same thing. So here, LCM is 17 as well, all over, 17 divided by 17 is 1 times 8 is 8, plus 17 divided by this 1 is 17, multiplied by this 1 is still 17. So at this point, we are going to change this division sign to multiplication and when that happens this fraction will invert so we have that 15 minus 8 is 7 so 7 over 17 times now 8 plus 17 is 25 so here we have 17 17 have to come up now over 25 yes 17 strike out 17 and what we have here is 7 over 25 Therefore, cos theta minus sin theta all over sin theta plus 1 equal 7 over 25 and this becomes the final answer. Thank you.